Wagwan, everybody. Today, we're heading into the blue. It's not just fishing. We're going to have one of the best seafood burgers I've ever had in my life. Good morning. The sun is out and shining in the Bahamas. We are in Abaco loading up to head back out to sea. We have a couple hours journey to NASA, but before that, there has to be action. We're going to be fishing looking for some fish and also doing some drop line looking for some snapper hopefully a grouper hopefully another monster so this place is beautiful the scenery the wildlife just a real amazing experience Anthony, what are you doing there? Cutting up the squid for deep drop. We're going deep drop. What are we looking for? Yellowtail, squid, snapper, anything like that? Goggle eye, snapper. Snapper. Any grouper? Well, if we're lucky, I get two too. We're just setting up an electric reel so that reel will go down. Any fish that's down there, the squid, we're using as bait. Hopefully, we'll catch some, some snapper, some grouper. This is a deep drop that we're doing. Okay. Now hold on, drop the weight first. Hold on, don't, don't, don't let nothing go. Don't let nothing go. If the weight is on it, right? Do not let it go. Drop it down, slow, slow, slow. All right. We're dropping down to around 500 to 800 feet of water until the hooks touch the bottom. You will feel when the come on. There will be no doubt. It's like old school hand line fishing. You feel when they nibble, you strike and let the electric reel do its job. Nice. We got lucky on the first drop to a nice snapper. Dinner is on board. What you're seeing is not the tongue, it's the swim bladder. It's used to control the fish buoyancy and allow it to maintain buoyancy at any depth. Of the group of what is that? What is that? Black snapper. Yeah, okay. Those are very good eating. Black snapper. We get, we get them in. Next week. Black snapper. Black snapper. I 
Sint i hemsen. Det är inte så här. Det är så här. Det är så här. Det är Nu låter du inte ha We thought we had hooked on to a monster, but what happened was the fish wasn't hooked in the mouth. It was the stinger hook that swung around, caught it, and allowed it to fight this amazing fight. Show that fish after that fight for us. Can you release, man? Yep. You got a picture? Got him. He's gone. He's gone. Swimming. Swimming. If I jump here, cut that thing out of the pot. Are you sticking to her? No, you like it. Seaweed. You like seaweed. Hey guys, seaweed. There's nothing there. Okay, no, I told a lie. There is something there. There's a mackerel. Greg is doing his bridle in the chop. Basically, ah. cut it, fillet the tail, but leave the flap on so it swims properly. No, and then bridle through the, the eyes. Cavity, so no more, no guts coming out. Okay, so we don't cut all the way up to the belly. Ah. We just cut the back flap. All right, that's really interesting. So we put a little weight, and the weight has a skirt on it. So oh, I'll it just let Uncle Shell and narrate. Give away all metrics. So the, so the weight has a skirt on it, so it's going to look great from back to when the fish is white. So you're just putting the line underwater to test to make sure the, the fish swims properly so that it will look like it's actually swimming. So in order for the bridle to work, we have to reduce speed. Basically going to a slow troll and that slow troll will allow the fish to swim and mimic an actual live swim, mimic no, no an actual problem. live fish and that will look like it's chasing something and hopefully a bigger fish will go for what we just bribed that jack that we caught yesterday I'm watching, I'm watching, what do you need? Coming, coming, coming. Oh, 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 nice! Tie this off and get the rest. That's what I say. Uh, uh, hold on. Tell me if you're going to tie this fish up or not. Oh, if you hook properly. Yeah, we'll tie it. You hook properly. You hook properly. That's a foam. That's a seed.
This is a mahi mahi or dolphin. One of the sweetest fish you can catch. Also called chicken of the sea. It's one of the most sought after saltwater fish that you can catch. We were trying to tie it off to the side of the boat to lure in the rest of the school. Unfortunately, we messed around until the fish flashed the hook and got away. I was extremely disappointed because I would brought some lime and some onions to make some ceviche on the boat or even some sashimi. Get him up, Kishan. Yeah, man. Alright, I see color. I see color. Here we go. in Nassau and the boat just docked what an experience what a time thank you to Uncle Greg Uncle Shell and Anthony but it's time to eat lobster shrimp fish conch burger anti carry all that smell. Two days at sea, non-stop fishing, non-stop action. Reach back, it's time to eat. And what we have is a seafood burger. Lobster, conch, shrimp, fish, all put together with some seasoning, some pepper, and some garlic and some onions in there. This is made from scratch by Antikari. Look at the size of that, the veracity of that burger. It's just ginormous. Mm. Oh boy. Different textures, different flavors, spice. Everything you need coming off of a long day on the salt water. This is what I the acid eat. of the onions. Very safe for morning. And the and the just look in there. This is made from scratch. This isn't something that you buy in the store. This is fresh meat actually ground in a grinder, meat grinder, put it together, made the patty, and that patty just comes together nicely. The flavor is fresh seafood. I think I can have a bite. Oh man. Everything complements me, everything. The crunch of the lettuce, the sweetness of the tomato, the acid of the onions. Yeah, this is fairly clean. My, everything just pairs very nicely. My the neighbor, flavor is so intense. Oh, yeah. This is he, something he I may have to get this though. recipe. This is yeah. unbelievable. The flavor, the complexity, the taste, just having the fresh lobster, fish, conch, shrimp, all in that to combine to make a magnificent seafood burger. The size of it, the pepper, Everything that you want, everything that you need, and everything your heart would desire. Mm. Oh my God. 
compliments to the chef. And there's the chef. What really makes it special is the different flavors just combined to have such sweet taste, that sweet seafood taste that you get. And then there are different textures. The lobster has a different texture than the conch. The fish is softer and so is the shrimp. But when that combines, the flavors just burst as you bite into it and that added pepper on it. Hint of spice, not too spicy, but just perfect. That spice just hums in, you, in the back of your throat. It's just like a hummingbird just fluttering right there and just bringing out intense seafood flavor intense textures and just unbelievable very good tasting very scrumptious and the size of it i can't get over the size of the burger i can't even say size the veracity mm. all right i'm going to finish this and we're running in with the time